What's good guys? We're back with another YouTube video. No intro today. It's just one of those days, bro. It's like, it's super dull outside. I don't even feel like getting out of bed. I had to wake up at like 10 today to schedule like uh, a service for my bike. And I'm getting that done on Saturday at like 9 a.m. So yeah, I'm, I don't know, bro. I slept at like four or five yesterday. I woke up at 10, so that's five hours of sleep. And then I went to sleep from like 11 to two. That's eight hours of sleep, but I'd want them like next to each other. So yeah, uh, today we got tempo bench and then, shit, <laughs> tempo bench, deadlifts, and then RDLs. So it's not gonna be a lot of videos. I'm pretty sure it's just tempo bench. Now there's no other like variation, just that one variation. And then I don't film my accessories and I consider RDL as an accessory. Today's more like a hypertrophy day because I also have two types of back movements, tricep extensions and then the RDLs. So that's like four accessories and then two compounds. So six exercises, which is kind of a lot. I'm more used to doing like four, four to four to five. And these are all like four sets too. But yeah, there's really not much to say. Oh, I'm just, I'm ready to get it. Um, as motivated as can be. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get it. Here, back with another voiceover. So last week, we did the tempo press for 175 for a while. Today, I did 180. Even though it should have been the same way. I felt like the RP last week was a bit. Last week was a bit too much. So we got RP6, and the weight just felt like RP6. That's the good thing about RP, you just do it based on how you feel that day. Now these are the back up sets. I actually did them as prescribed this time, surprisingly. So it's 155 for three. As last time we did 155 for two. Just so up in the reps by one a week. Except for that top set, because it's kind of hard to do this singles into doubles into triples. So it's like a lot of weight. Here's the side angle. Really, I really like the progress I made on where the, the part is going on my chest. Really the upper, upper ab. Not much to say, they were like really hot. And I am a serious outfit. So, anyways, moving into deadlifts. Today I learned a few things. Pulling slack. My headphones fall off my face after the second rep. Let it fall. Keep your tightness and don't pick the headphones back up until you're done. I actually bruised my right shin from keeping the bar so close, so that's good. If your shins aren't bruising after you're done lifting, you're doing something wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. My arms, make sure I'm tight. Pull the flat. And then at the top, make sure you free fall when it goes past your knees so it's more efficient to lock out that way. I haven't learned that yet in this clip because Jimmy has not talked to me yet. Jimmy is a powerlifting friend slash coach. And he's right there on the left. Say what's up, Jimmy? Anyways, that's Jimmy. So right here, pulling slack. And then keeping a big chest and also free falling at the top free fall backwards. See how efficient the lockout is in comparison to what it was before? It's a lot better. I'm wearing short socks, so like the bar kind of hurts my machines, but overall Dallas felt really good today. In this side angle, this is like my last set of five, so I'm going to be bent over hell, is I'm not going to lie. It's, it doesn't look too good. Oh my, my lower back is cooked <laughs> jimmy's like what the frick bro it's so bad i gotta shave too it looks like i have a beard but i don't and i need to shift my hips back like th okay this is really bad this is extremely terrible what's up y'all uh i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i feel like shit bro oh my it's so hot in that gym and i wore like long sleeve and sweatpants bro even though the shirt when you sweat it's supposed to cool you down by like absorbing the sweat and then like i don't know don't ask me but 
don't know. My stomach kind of hurts because uh, I may or may not have drank a Coke because I thought high carb means energy, right? No, don't drink soda before the gym, bro, unless it's like an, an energy drink. Holy, I felt, I thought it would have gave me a good brace too for deadlifts. Deadlifts felt amazing. That's a Lamborghini Urus. You might be able to see it. Probably not. And this guy, oh, what are we doing? So, like, yeah, I feel like fucking shit right now. My head hurts. Uh, it might have been the sleep I got, but, oh, today is not, it's not it. It's sunny outside, I'm not gonna lie. The weather's nice. It said it's supposed to rain, but it's not. It hasn't rained yet. Well, holy. So, my pre-workout was, okay, this is gonna sound really bad. It was, like, park the car away. Hold up. So my pre-workout was chips and salsa like I usually have. I had a different salsa this time, but salsa, salsa, bro. Like, that doesn't really do anything. But the chips, oh my, they take so long to, to digest. It's just, we don't have, like, carb-heavy, like, easily ready food at home. So I got to, gotta, like, scavenge for it. And it's kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure we have cereal either, so I, I can't really, like, have cereal and milk. And if I have milk, I'm lactose. These are all excuses, by the way. I know I could, like, actually find something that's, like, carb-heavy. Or, like, eat beforehand and then eat at home afterwards. But, seriously, oh my god, like, I don't, I don't feel good at all. Um, the lifts felt great, though. I'm not gonna lie. I did, like, a 180 tempo press. I feel like I could've got 185. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's a disaster. But for deadlifts especially, oh my god, those killed me. Downstairs, they turn off the AC, and, like, it's so hot, and it's kind of my fault. From now on, I'm going to wear, like, short shorts and, like, a tank top. I don't care what people think of me as. If I wear that, I'm in the gym, so. If you're really judging people in the gym, what are you doing, bro? Like, you're actually weird for that. Anyways, for deadlifts, it was supposed to be <laughs> a 3x5 at 265. I upped the weight to 275, and I did four sets. Because, like, my friend's last coach was, like, teaching me or, like, giving me tips and trying to correct my form a little bit and, like, brush it up in a good way. And then I did another set of three. So it was a four by five and then a one set of three afterwards and RDLs. And, dude, like, deadlifts are so taxing. But thank God I'll have a rest day tomorrow. And then after that, I'll have my bench squat day. And then on the rest day after the bench squat day, I'm gonna get my bike serviced, so I gotta wake up pretty early for that. Wait three hours for them to service it. Go back, come back. That doesn't really matter. I just want to let you know what the the rest of the week's looking like. And then on Sunday I go back, and then my primary bench day and my primary deadlift day. And yeah, overall, I'm probably just gonna go home and like sleep, relax, just like enjoy the rest of the day, not do anything too taxing. Because summer school is about to start for college, and that is a lot. Uh, I forgot what they said, but it was like 36 hours of work a week for one class. And I have two classes, so 72 hours of work for a class. I don't know. I, sh I should probably start now, but yeah. This will probably be the end of the video. This one's not long at all. It's probably not even going to be like 8 minutes long. If it's longer than that, I'm sorry. There's no intro. I kind of wanted to try an outro today, but like the energy is not there. I'm going to be completely, I'm not going to like hold back and be like, oh shit, I'm lazy. I'm really not. I like to be on top of things, but energy is not there, bro. Like maybe it's cause like my anti-inflammatory like medicine. I'm supposed to eat that with like a big meal and take that an hour afterwards. I waited a half an hour and then had chips and salsa as a meal. So. Yeah, my diet needs to get in check too. Yesterday, I don't think I had that much protein. I had like 90 grams plus, uh, uh like 30s. I had 120 grams of protein yesterday. My goal is 180 and yeah. I wanna try to get some protein in the morning, but we really don't have that many options other than milk, which makes my stomach hurt. And then whey protein, which I like drinking at night because I'm not hungry at night usually. I usually have that as like dessert because when I drink it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have dessert afterwards. But when I drink it, it's like, 
I'm not, I don't want to eat. I'm pretty full. I'm pretty satiated. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a long ass rant, but I'm gonna end it here, y'all. Thanks for, if you made it to this part, make sure to like and subscribe if you really want. Thanks for being here, man. It's just another day.